YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Nate, just do back with another video, uh, and this is the comparison video with 2011 Black Metallic Five versus the 2016 Black Metallic Five. So, yeah, man, it's a lot of differences that I've noticed right off the back. So, I'm gonna let y'all know what I see, and y'all probably see some differences too. And if y'all see any differences that I don't mention comment down below so yeah the first thing off the back is the tongue y'all can see right here that the tongue the 3m on the 2011 version is like kind of like a dull 3m material but on the 2016 version it's like a shiny kind of 3m material and the 3m just shines like without even trying so that's one thing that i noticed so yeah and another one is the height different the tongue height difference hold on let me see yeah there we go all right so you can see the 2011 version over here is way high well not way high but it's higher than the 2016 version and the 2016 is kind of like cut like a regular fabric type of Jordan 5 tongue like the like the like the black tongue fire reds or the grape fives kind of like that while the 2006 no 2011 version is very high and it's like kind of like uncomfortable like when I wear the uh, 2011 version it's kind of like the tongue it it's like stiff so it just sticks straight up um, while you wear it and it kind of like pokes out and you see like that corner right there it's it sticks out when I wear it so hopefully that's not a factor on the 2016 pair when I wear them now both Jumpmans on the tongue is I guess the same let me see well on the 2011 you see the fingers you can't really see the outline of the fingers on the 2011 but on oh, the 2016, you can see the fingers like clearly, oh, kind of like, yeah, you can see that, hold on, he's in the way. Yeah, so you can see the uh, fingers like spreading out, each individual finger, you can see it. Yeah. Next, I wanna get into the new buck or like the suede. So on the 2011 version, hold on. You can see like, if you brush across it, like it turns light and then dark. So on the 2011, it has like a longer hair suede, I guess. And it's more softer you know, versus on the 2016, it's just a straight up uh, Dura buck or new buck. And it's rougher and more like, you can hear that. So yeah, but on here, can't really hear nothing. But I do like the new bug better than the suede. Well, no, nah, I like the suede better than the new bug. So that's one pro with the 2011 version. I like the suede better than the Dora bug. Next, I want to get into the actual laces. Now the laces on the 2016 are more thinner then the 2011 11 are more like kind of like thick i guess and on the 2016 is more like thin all right so next i want to talk about like the lining of the the suede i guess all right so right here you can see it's kind of like a white white kind of cut on the 2016 it's like that on the OGs, the 2000s, and 2006. But on the 2011 version, it's just a regular black line. It's, it looks white on here, but it's actually black in person. It's so dark. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, y'all get the point. <laughs> now, the next difference is probably like the most obvious one. The 23 on the side. So this is the 2011 version. These came with the 23 on the side. Also, 
the 2006 version, I believe, came with the 23 on the side. So, yeah. And on the 2016, there's no 23. Just like on the OGs, the OGs didn't have 23 on the side either. Except for, I think, player, like a player exclusive. One for Jordan had 23 on the back, but other than that, they weren't released to the public with 23 on the side back in 1990. So, yeah. And of course, it's going to be yellow netting on the 2011. These are five years old, I believe. And on 2016, it's all clear. Now, for another obvious difference is the Jumpman on the back versus the Nike Air on the back. Now, you can see that the Nike Air is very huge. It takes up almost most of the back. And the Jumpman is very small and it has a lot of space around it. <laughs> so, And actually, another thing that I just picked up is the cut of the back part is actually higher on 2016 versus the 2011. Now the actual height of the shoe, the 2011 version is a little bit, it's slightly higher than the 2016, so that's another difference that I just noticed on camera, so. Moving on to the outsole, of course the 2011 version is gonna be yellow, more yellow, so uh, due to age and wear, I wear my shoes the icy blue sole, on the 2016 which actually on the 2011 version but of course due to age and stuff it turned yellow it actually turned clear before it turned yellow so that's what i'm expecting with these two so now one big difference on the outsole is the 2011 has a red jump man while 2016 has a black jump man and another big difference is the 2016 has nike on the bottom, while 2011 has Jordan. Another difference is the 2011 has the Air Jordan right side up, while the 2016 has Air Jordan upside down, just like on the OG. So now another huge difference is the 2016 has a red insole. Let me see, can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? with a white Nike Air emblem on the inside, while on the 2011, <laughs> it has a black insole, and the Jordan was red, but it's faded out now. And last but not least, it's the Lace Locks. This is the 2016. You can see it has the Jumpman on the Lace Lock. You can see that a little bit right there. And it doesn't have a jump man on the actual red lace lock, so yeah. While on the 2016, you can see right there it has Nike on the clear part. And then right there it's a jump man. And on the other side you see Nike in black. So yeah man, that's pretty much it. That's all that I uh, notice if y'all notice anything else. If y'all have both pairs, let me know if y'all notice any differences that I missed. And yeah, with that being said, it's your boy Nate Just Dope signing out. Deuces.